Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the ninth generation iPad. This is Apple's least expensive iPad, and it gets a few nice upgrades this year. Now, the first thing is it starts at the exact same price as last year, so $329, but they've doubled the amount of storage. So now instead of 32 gigabytes, it's now 64 gigabytes. You also have another option of 256 gigabytes for $479. Now, if you want to add cellular data, that will bump the price up another $130. $30 on top of the other prices. So that's pretty typical for cellular additions for iPad. Now it only comes in two different colors this year as well. And the two colors are space gray and silver. Apple got rid of the gold color for the ninth generation iPad, but let's go ahead and unbox this and take a closer look at some of those new features. So here is the latest ninth generation iPad. And you can see that here, it's just the Wi-Fi version, but it's the 64 gigabyte model. So it was $329. Let's go ahead and remove the wrapper here. So I've got my unboxing knife and let's just cut that. There we go. And let's remove the wrapper. And we'll remove the top of the box here. And here's the iPad. Now this is a little bit different. It looks like they're using some sort of paper now, maybe for better recyclability. And it's a little bit of a different paper there. Now inside the box, let's see what we've got. So we've got some paperwork here, just like we do every time. And if I can get this out of here, there we go. And it looks like we do get Apple stickers in here. They're just a little bit difficult to remove. So you have your typical safety and handling paperwork. You've got a quick start guide and you also have two Apple stickers. So you still get two with the iPad. Now in the box, you do get a lightning to USB-C cable. So as you can see here, USB-C to lightning, and you also do get a charger with this iPad. So you get the 20 watt charger, but if you need an additional charger, that's where today's channel partner comes in anchor. So at about 45% of the size, you get the same 20 watt charging. I'll talk more about them a little bit later, but thanks to anchor for sponsoring this video. And so let's set these aside and we'll take a closer look at the iPad itself. Now let's remove the cover off of this. So this is more like a MacBook plastic paper cover. And as you can see, here's the iPad. So we'll set the paper aside and this year's iPad is no different than last year's as far as its overall size and dimensions. It's the same size. It's the same weight. And I have last year's version here. You can see it is a little bit lighter as far as the space gray goes, but in my left hand is the eighth generation. In my right hand is the ninth generation. Everything is identical from every port to everything else. So let's go around the outside edge of it. And like I said, it's the same thickness and same weight. And on the top, we have our power sleep wake button. In the middle, we have a microphone and we also have another one on the back here. We also have a headphone jack still. This is Apple's last device to include a headphone jack. And then on the side here, we have our dock connector or pogo pin connector. And this is for a smart keyboard or a different accessory. On the bottom, we have our lightning port and we also have our speakers. On the other side, just like before, we have our volume buttons. On the back, we've got our camera. And again, this year, it's the exact same camera as before. So we have an eight megapixel camera and it's exactly the same, like I said. So what you get is an eight megapixel camera that has an F 2.4 aperture and 1080p 30 video. So nothing particularly different there, but the forward facing camera has been greatly upgraded. And we'll take a closer look at that in a little bit, but the forward facing camera is last year came in at 1.2 megapixels. It was only really useful for video calls and didn't even look that good then. But now we have a front 12 megapixel ultra wide F 2.4 that can record 1080p 30 and has center stage. So that's a big update as well. Internally, it now gets the A13 Bionic, which is 20% faster as far as its GPU. And it has a neural engine that allows for that new live text feature in iPad OS 15. So let's go ahead and turn it on and we'll get it set up. And as you can see, we do have that home button here and it's basically what you would expect with touch ID. So we'll boot it up here and this display is not a laminated display. So it makes it a little bit easier to repair because the glass is not actually adhered to the screen underneath. I can show you that in a moment when we go to maybe a different setup screen here, there we go. 
you'll see it says hello and it sits a little under the glass because it's not laminated. This helps with a little bit of durability and makes it easier to repair because you don't have to repair them together. It's very hard to separate an LCD from the glass. You can do it, but it's very difficult to do. Now, before we set this up, the display is the same display as last year, 10.2 inches. It's also 2160 by 1620 with 264 pixels per inch, goes up to 500 nits, has true tone and an oleophobic coating. Now let's go ahead and set it up. It also supports the first generation Apple Pencil, which we'll take a look at in a moment. So let's set it up. We can bring in the other iPad to help do that. Now just bringing it nearby, we can set it up. I'll hit continue and then I'll scan this and get it set up. Now the iPad is set up manually now because I had some issues where I couldn't agree to terms of service. It was unresponsive, but now it's working fine. So I'm not sure what happened there, but here we have iPad OS 15. Now let's take a look at the version installed. So we'll go to settings, general, and then about, and the version that's pre-installed is 19 a three, four, zero. And so what that means is if we go to software update, there should be an update and there is, there's a 332 megabyte update. And I would recommend you do this right away. So it fixes some issues you may be having with your iPad initially they shipped it with that version just to get it out of the factory. And now you can update to this version and you should be good to go as far as that goes. Now, as far as the processor, well, this should be super fast. We've had the a 13 for a little while and it should be fast overall. Now let's go ahead and check the Ram and then we'll take a look at that center stage front camera and the Apple pencil. So I'll download Geekbench. So I have Geekbench installed now, and this will tell us how much Ram we have. And you can see we have 2.87 gigabytes or three gigabytes of Ram. And so with that and the a 13 bionic this year, we should have an additional performance boost and we should also have the option for live text that we get with iPad OS 15 due to the neural engine. So if we go into the camera and then we bring in maybe the iPad mini smart folio case and you'll see that live text does not work in real time on an iPad, but if we snap a picture of it and then we go to that photo, now we can select the text. So we can select text after the fact you can't do it through the camera on an iPad for some reason, but you can do it after you take the photo. So you can copy and paste that text or whatever you'd like to do with it look up maybe a definition of something or more. So it's a really nice feature. Now also this is compatible with the first generation Apple pencil. So it's not compatible with the second generation, which means you have to use the first gen that uses lightning. So you can pair the Apple pencil just through the bottom here, and you can also charge the Apple pencil that way, but we'll give it just a moment and you can see it says Bluetooth pairing request. We'll hit pair. And there we go. It says Apple pencil battery is low. So maybe that's why it took a moment. So we'll give it a moment. We'll hit continue and it's showing us how to use scribble and more. And again, we'll just hit done. And now if we take this out of the lightning port with the iPad, we can now use features such as quick note. If we drag in from the, the side here, so we can hit get started and then we can write hello and it works with this Apple pencil. So you have full compatibility with it and it's the least expensive Apple pencil as well. So it's about a hundred dollars for the Apple pencil generally, but it works with this and all of the other third party accessories you've, you've come to know from before. So it's backward compatible with those due to the connector on the side here where you can use a smart keyboard or more. So that's really nice. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of new accessories if you're coming from an older iPad to this one. Now, the final big update to this is the forward facing camera for FaceTime calls. So if we go into FaceTime, you'll see I'm not even signed in, but you'll see it's zooming in automatically. If I move, it will follow me around. So as I move in my chair, it's actually following me on the camera and it's following me in real time as I move you'll see it's sort of like having a cameraman behind it. I've been using this on the iPad pro and it's a great feature. It works in other apps as well. So if you're on a zoom call or something like that, the camera will actually follow you around and help you within that call. So it's a great feature and it's something that I'm glad they're adding to this iPad. It's also on the new iPad mini and the iPad pro as well. So it's a great feature to have. Now this should get 10 hours of battery, the same as before with regular use. And if you need to charge it, of course you can visit our sponsor anchor and check out the nano pro. The nano pro, like I said, is 45% smaller and it's also 20 Watts and charges iPhones in about 
50% in about 25 minutes. And so with the Anchor Nano Pro, you can use it with your iPad if you want, with the included cable or one of Anchor's cables. And it has Power IQ 3.0 to work flawlessly with your device. And it also has Active Shield to monitor temperature and current to make sure that it doesn't get too hot. So it has all of those features built in and it comes in five different colors glacier blue cool lavender arctic white and black ice i'll link them in the description below so you can check them out yourself so that's it for the ninth generation ipad now the new ipad does not have any new wallpaper on it so i wanted to show this i normally show it at the beginning of the video but there wasn't anything new and these are great ipads for school i see a lot of kids using them it depends on your school district of course but a lot of elementary schools use these and they're really helpful i think think they're a great price and if you've never used an iPad I highly recommend checking one out they're super fast they last pretty well they're very durable and they have great battery life as well so if you've never checked one out these are generally what I recommend for most people if you just want to see if an iPad is right for you but let me know what you think about the new iPad in the comments below and of course I'll link anchor in the description and thanks to them for sponsoring this video if you haven't subscribed already though please subscribe and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like as always thanks for watching I'll see you next time.